Keep the good times popping. Pop, pop, pop. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! All right. Defensibility check 17. 18. Wow. All right. Defensibility <laughs> 17. Nay, <Hey>, 18. <laughs> Set number 60, 90. Royal Knight's Castle. If you look at 6090 in the mirror, it actually says oboe. Oboe shoes? Look, I can make mine say oboe shoes. You get a high five. If you understand that <laughs> reference. But I might not give it to you. But you will probably get a high five at some point. Yes, you deserve a high five, whatever happens. You don't deserve anything. Boycott the word deserve. Nobody deserves anything. Royal Knight's Castle. What a massive base plate. What a glorious mess. Like, like would this pass cool ability check? It's, it's, Barely. it's tough to say. The gargoyles are cool, but... The gargoyles are so I, cool. The rain spouts. The, this was really tough going through the instructions, trying to reorient ourselves around this thing. It'd be tough to build. It'd be a really fun build. Oh, yeah, and it'd be a blast to play with as a kid. Oh, yeah. But I don't know... Having everything black and light gray in the, in this ratio, much like Black Knight's Castle, Black Monarch's Castle, it, it, something just seems off with my depth perception. You know what mm. I mean? Where it's just <laughs> hard to distinguish details. You can't really tell with black Lego pieces what is what, like what shape ends where. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like that right there? Void. Well, without further ado, let's dive in. <laughs> Accessibility. So there's this very odd staircase on the eastmost side of, of this here castle. And there's an odd hatch that I think uh, is accessed by this staircase, but... It would be a giant stone hatch, which would be very difficult to use, and it closes the door that you might have used. And this, this little entrance is right next to a drawbridge when there was already an entrance to the castle and even like the ghost entrance in the front so it's just lots of entrances you would need this massive garrison to guard all those we have an inaccessible cistern so it's down at the bottom of this base plate but there's not an easy way to go down there and more importantly to get back up there are some inaccessible arrow loops, a problem with the piece. We see a variation on that piece. I think this is the first time we've encountered it in a defensibility check. The larger corner piece, which adds 45 degree windows, very cool, but they're just as difficult to access as with the other arrow loop piece. The second level is inaccessible as is the third level. They didn't think nearly as much about the layout of railings and rooms, and especially a way to get up to them. They didn't really have a way place to place, but they had every place you could imagine. There is an incomplete circuit. Just looking at the thing, you can hardly think about it having a complete circuit. There's all sorts of different levels of walls and towers and things in the way. We do have a dungeon. And a spacious one at that. Yeah. You can keep all your skeletons down there Ugh. so you can get more ghosts. Ugh. We have living quarters. Very sumptuous living quarters, too. Quarters with, with the throne. Mm-hmm. And an attic above that with your treasures. We have an armory. Looking around this castle, you can see all sorts of pole arms available. Some shields, too. Some of them actually within reach. More than decorative. Royal Knights era, Lego seemed really, really generous with their shields. Yeah. We have two incomplete Basil the Bat Lords and one, like, one quarter of the way Fright Knight, and yet we have, like, what, six or seven Fright Knight shields? I think we have nine. Ah! The winch is accessible on this single roped drawbridge. Boo. Bad drawbridge design. The block to the portcullis is indeed accessible. Accessibility. Negative six. Positive five. Net, negative one. On to defensibility. <laughs> holes, holes everywhere, and don't try and drink them. Along with those holes, there are places that just kind of lack walls. There's just no walls there. 
it's odd that you have so many holes and yet still so many blind spots. The crenellation height is poor, pretty standard. There are too many entrances to the place. There's an architectural innovation over here. Ooh. It's called the Quarter Tower. And it has none of the advantages of a whole tower and half the advantages of a half tower. This is an instance where we can see that change does not always equal progress. This castle is built on a hill. There's a drawbridge portcullis, a cistern, we have that front gate, and we can assume a moat. It has been constructed in a defensively advantageous location. Defensibility, negative six, positive six. Net, zero. pH, water. On to offensibility. There are oh so very many machicolations. There are working machicolations as well. Ooh. There are very many arrow loops, some of them at 45 degrees, like we had said. That's very advantageous. You get massively improved visibility as a result. We have murder holes. In the throne room over that chamber where the drawbridge is at. If folks make it through that drawbridge, you've got murder holes. Very nice, very nice. And I think it was in Black Knight's castle, we uh, discovered that there could be some potential murder holes in the gaps caused by the addition of the portcullis. Very true, very true. We've got traps, things to spook you, things to catch you. Traps in front of the royal throne in case you should displease his majesty. Then you get dumped, not into the prison, just, 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 just a floor down. Yep, there's the door. There's also a couple of affixed crossbows, some ballistae. We've got a catapult. Ooh, and a ghost. Oh, and a ghost. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta say, this is, in my humble opinion, in my opinion, <laughs> the greatest gatehouse we have seen. There are two levels of machicolations, arrow loops at a 45 degree angle, along with crenellations at a 45 degree angle, and inward facing arrow loops. There's a ramp to get up to your gate, and a portcullis behind that. Offensibility, negative zero. Positive nine. Net, nine. As of right now, our initial total is sitting pretty at eight. Let's check out those auxiliary graces. It's so offensive. It is so incredibly offensive. It's kind of ridiculous. This is not a defensible castle, but it is probably the most offensive that we have come across. There is an adequate, nay, impressive garrison. Perhaps the most impressive since Black Knight's castle. We have archers, pole armsmen, swordsmen, and some heavy cavalry. Fantastic. Our final total, ten. This castle passes. With banners a-flying. I really wasn't expecting it to because of that messy design. I was expecting this to be an absolute flop. But, but no, it, it's up there as one of the most defensible. No, 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 no. One of the most offensible. As the most offensible. Good job. To date. Yeah. Does it get a high five? Oh yeah, it's a high ten. Watch. Some things to look forward to coming from the Good Time Group. Our band's next single, Nowhere Bound, will be dropping soon. And production is underway for Good Time Group Shields. Keep the good times popping. <laughs>